So at my students, you all wanted some questions and, and someone requested question on um, circles. So behold, question on circles. So this is taken from 2017, last year, um, June, question 3, part A. The circle C has an equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y minus 10 equals 0, expressing this form. So we have two forms. And you should know from your revision that these are the two main forms of um, having a, a circle equation. These are the two main forms of the equation of a circle. And this form and you have that form. But you more should be more accustomed seeing it in this way. Notice this is a negative sign. That's what we more accustomed to seeing. Negative sign here because this is based on Pythagoras theorem where c squared is equal to um, where the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So you could go and check, you could go and do some revision on these. I'm not going into this too much, I'm just going to the solution. But you should um I just I'm stating this because see these negative signs here? This is how it's normally given. And for this question in the past paper we, we had positive signs and that true of some of the students in terms of figuring it out. Right? So basically we want to go from this way of expressing the equation to this way. So this is a factorized version of this. So the question is asking us to go from this way of expressing the equation of a circle, which looks like this, to this, which is the more common way. Um, and this is much more useful for um, way of expressing the equation of a circle. Right? So we're going from here to here. So there are two main methods to do this. You can basically factorize, or you could compare coefficients knowing this. If you knew this, that r squared is equal to g squared plus f squared minus c. You can find out what g is and find out what f is. That's method two, I'll show you how to do that. And then substitute and figure out what r is. So most, you know, people use this method, but I want to show you, I don't want to say the smarter method, but a, a neat method that you can use as well to figure this out, all right? So method one, move people, move. All right, so method one, Express in the form that we want to change it to that form. So you start off with what we are given and we move the x's to meet each other, then we move the y's to meet each other. So that's all I did. X to meet each other and the y remains there because the y will be together. And we want to factorize this. Now, um, students who do the revision will remember how to factorize this, right? This is basically piece of a quadratic, piece of a quadratic. So you can find a perfect square here, a perfect square here, and we just have an extra number. Let me just juke some of your memory here. Yeah? So if I add on 4 here, this will create a quadratic equation which factorizes to give us x plus 2. x plus 2 to be squared. But you need to take back all the 4 because we add on a 4 to create that, that perfect square. So the next line should look like this. Catch that? The next line should look like this. So x plus 2 to be squared, take away 4. That, that is because I created a perfect square here and this one perfect square would be what y minus 1 to be squared but I'll have to subtract back out take back out um, negative 1 so this is like come from completing the square you know that question in number um, number 8 in C C sec um, that's that at you come in there right so you should be comfortable with doing this time all these numbers send them to the next side and boom answer Right, so 20 plus 1 plus 4, 25, which is 5 squared. So you got the answer there, 2 marks, you move on. So the real trick is ready for remember how to get this to look like that. Right, so you have to go and switch some questions and, and be able to do it like that. Um, so let's take a look at method 2 now. Oh, before you do this, you want to state something. You want to state that this is now, that's not jumble of everything here, that this is in the form x plus f. To b squared and you actually state what f is what g is what r is make sure you call it your max so don't just leave them with that state a little something all right let's go to method two in method two you just simply compare the coefficients and how did i get this now let's let's bring back these equations into play this is what most people use eh? um you have this we are given it like given the equation that looks like this so 
I think you can see the equation at the top there. And the, this, this number here represents 2F. So if I need F for here, I just need to divide this number by 2, 4 over 2. And I got what F is. Right? Following. This is the equation they gave us. This part number here, this, this coefficient of y represents 2g. So now, you know that's in this form. This is the form they gave us and I wanted to come to this form. So I need to find what g is. So I divide that by 2. And I got my g. Understand g? And then r squared, I mean, this is a formula that you're supposed to have in your back pocket if you're using this method. R squared is equal to F squared plus G squared minus C. Found F, I found G. So I can just substitute. And lo and behold, R squared is 25. So now that I have these three things, I can just boom. I can just boom. Right? So I don't think if it, I don't think it caught it the first time, right? So I just do it over. Alright, so express any form that F divide by 2 coefficient what was given f divided by 2 4 divided by 2 g negative 2 divided by 2 r squared is equal to f squared plus g squared minus c 25 substitute now this is best seen in doing questions you need to go and do a question and then come back to my solution and see where you are making your mistakes and see if you can fix your little black holes, dark spots, dark areas and move forward with your life. Huh? So the best thing to do is go in your past paper and find hunt up a question like this. There are plenty. And try to do it and then come back and look at the solution and see if you can help you out of the dark tunnel. Alright, let's look at the next next part. So part two. Is asking us to stay the coordinates of the center and the radius of C. State coordinates of the center and the radius of C. This is what we found in part one. And by some simple comparison with this equation, remember this is how that is represented. A circle AB is the center and R is the radius. So using that logic now, we can come now and state, just basically state where the center is and what the radius is. Now keep in mind, there's a little trick here, this is the negative of this, right, the additive inverse. So you see negative 1 here, you're going to put 1 there because, you know, this represents negative b. So b is actually 1. Alright, so simple as that and the radius is straightforward. That's 5 from that. So question 2 is basically just using the information you got in question 1 and pulling out the values to stay the center and the radius, right? So this is like class 101 for um, circle geometry, right? All right, let's go to part three. I say part three, determine the points of intersection of the circle C and the line Y equals four minus X. Boom, line, top of the circle, two points of intersection. So you notice you're gonna get two values of X, two values of Y, because the line will cut the circle twice. Well, that's the option that most likely could happen. Or you could skim the top of this like a tangent and you get some weird stuff occurring. But I think this one will happen, right? So, we have the equation of the circle from before. This is the equation of the circle. So, all we got to do is substitute this y into here and solve. And we get the answer, right? Sounds straightforward. Let's see how it goes. So, first up, so first up, substitute y equal 4 minus x into equation of the circle. So anyway, I see y, I put 4 minus x, simplify, get 3. How did I get 3? 4, take away 1 and 3, group the numbers together. Write back that. Expand. Boom. Expand. Boom. x squared, 2 by x by 2, 4x, 2 squared, 2 by 2, 4. That's the simple way to expand these, right? 3 by 3 is 9. 2 by 3 by x is negative 6x, x by x is positive x squared. Simple stuff. Alright, next up, break it down to look like a quadratic equation. Group up the x's, x squared, group up the x's, group up the numbers. Alright, 
So 4x, negative 6x, negative 2x, x squared and x squared, 2x squared, 4 and 9, 13 and 25. Nice. So now we can bring across the 25, we get negative 12, 2, negative 2, 12, stop. Let's divide that by 2 to make our life easy. Divide by 2, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Factorize that quadratic expression. This is another class in quadratic expression factorization, right? So you should be able to know how to do this, hopefully. Um, so x minus 3, x plus 2, and from that you can figure out the answers of x. You ain't done yet, that's just the x coordinate. So once you have the x coordinate, wow, you can come now and hit them the y coordinate. By x equals 3, y is going to be equal to 4 minus 3, because remember, this is the equation of the line. Equation of the line y equal 4 minus x so substitute 3 into the x spot and get y get the next y so the two points of intersection are going to be 3 1 and negative 2 6 yes 3 1 and negative 2 6 so that's the answer for this the last part in the circle question all right so any questions on this contact me in the comments or maybe any questions on this you can feel free to email you can feel free to comment um if some area is giving you problems maybe i'll do a lesson specifically on that spot